What's up, Internet? We've sold a lot of the Deepcool L240 V2 AIO over the years, but we've never actually reviewed it for the channel. Pero tamang tama, nagpadala si Deepcool ng latest refresh nila para sa AIO na to, the L240 ARGB. Based on physical comparison and comparison of their spec sheets, the L240 V2 and the L240 ARGB are basically the same AIO. Except, as the name implies, the ARGB model comes with ARGB fans. What's a big deal about ARGB? I've talked about it in a previous video. But basically, ARGB allows for a richer, more dynamic, more vibrant RGB experience kasi each LED napapalitan yung kulay. In normal or regular RGB, yes, you can change all of the LEDs but only in sequence. You, you can't have multiple LEDs displaying different things. So we always recommend in the shop if budget and compatibility allows na ARGB yung kunin mo. So aside from the ARGB, what else does this AIO have to offer? Number one is Deepcool's anti-leak technology. And Deepcool makes a big deal about this, that they have a special bladder inside the radiator to ensure that no leaks occur. I don't know if this is just marketing hype, but based on experience, since marami na nga kami na benta ng L240, over the years, we've sold a lot of those units, and not a single customer has come back to complain na tumulo yung AIO nila. So just based on experience, Deepcool's anti-leak technology is legit. Bottom line, based on the experience of our customers, we've never had someone complain that this AIO sprung a leak. Which is super important considering that you don't want your expensive parts suddenly wet from some kind of leak in the AIO. Next up is performance. This is a 240mm rad. So to be fair, we compared it with another 240mm rad, the Kraken X53. Now the L240 ARGB is sort of on the value or budget side. Whereas the Kraken X53 is not. Basically, double yung presyo ng Kraken. So, if the L240 ARGB is cheap, does that mean na medyo mahina rin performance niya? Actually, heck no. And I was a bit surprised by this. Based on our testing, pareho lang yung numbers ni L240 ARGB tsaka ni Kraken X53. Pareho lang yung performance. On idle, the L240 ARGB actually was slightly lower at 42 degrees. On load, after 30 minutes, it was 64 degrees. And on load, after 1 hour, the temperature of the CPU was 66 degrees. Compare that with the Kraken X53. On idle, the CPU temp was 44 degrees. On load, after 30 minutes, 64 degrees. So exactly the same as the L240. And finally, on load, after 1 hour, again, exactly the same as the L240 at 66 degrees. So both of these 240mm RAD AIOs performed exactly the same. And yet the L240 ARGB is around half the price of the Kraken X53. To top it all off, the L240 ARGB, as mentioned, comes with ARGB fans. The X53 only comes with non-RGB fans. So yet even more value in the favor of the L240 ARGB. Installation and compatibility, there's nothing confusing about the installation of this AIO. If you've installed other AIOs, then, then you'll be fine. It's pretty standard. Also standard is the mounting bracket. It comes complete with mounting brackets for all of the modern AMD systems as well as the modern Intel systems. What's nice about the L240 ARGB is that it's compatible with all of the usual manufacturers. You have Gigabyte Fusion, ASRock Polychrome, MSI Mystic Lite, Asus Aura Sync, Razer Chroma. Deepcool plays nice with all of them and you can control the RGB of the setup using those different softwares. And it really saves you a lot of time and frustration when the RGB that you're working with is interoperable or gumagana siya sa iba't ibang components so that you can mix and match different things or different hardware inside your setup. It's a real plus that Deepcool works with those other brands instead of forcing you to use its proprietary software. Lastly on the aesthetics, it's really hard to fault the L240 ARGB since it's such a reasonably priced AIO. For me, my only personal gripe is that sana yung kasamang ARGB fans yung CF120+. Plus. These are the refreshed versions of Deepcool's venerable CF120 fan. And the CF120 fans were great in their time. But the plus really pop. As you can see in this case, the CF120 Plus have sort of these cutouts at the edge of the fan frame so more light bleeds out. You can appreciate more of the RGB because of the CF120 Plus. But the fans that come with the L240 ARGB seem to be the standard CF120. And yes, these are nice to look at, very good value for money, but they just don't have the same oomph as the CF120 Plus. 
Also on aesthetics, the CPU block is fine. It has this nice circular, it's in the standard circular shape, which kind of reminds you of a scuba regulator all the time. And the Deepcool logo is in the middle with RGB surrounding it. It's not as nice aesthetically for me as the Kraken CPU block where they have sort of an infinity light thing going on where the, the light sort of just strobes off into the distance or you know into the center of the CPU block. But again, for its price, it's really hard to fault the L240 ARGB. In conclusion, the L240 ARGB is good value for money. It provides excellent performance and has very decent looks. And really, if you're at this price point, it's hard to argue that you should get anything else because it just works so damn well. Yun nga, performance ng nga isang AIO na doble yung presyo sa kanya. So if you're looking for an AIO and your system needs ARGB, the L240 ARGB is a solid, solid recommendation. We might need to start stocking it in the shop. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Richard Oginko, Asher Gate Anima Mundi, Ian Meru, and Liam Magnaye. To be honest guys, di ko pa yung membership money, but we're already thinking about getting studio lights or maybe a wireless mic. So your support would really go a long way to improving the quality of the channel. Thank you so much.